Let's go instead to one of the new members of the Peter Dutton Ministry, live to the Liberal Senator and Shadow Assistant Minister for Climate Change and Energy, Holly Hughes. Thanks very much for your time as we have those pictures of Anthony Albanese. There you go in full flight with Joko Widodo. Um, no stumbles yet, so I'm sure that's the, the main criteria right now, isn't it? I can't recall the Prime Minister going on a bike ride with another world leader. You might correct me if you do recall that. But let's get into your new area of, of, of responsibility. Um, what do you think the general message is from voters at the election on that issue of climate change, which is going mm. to be partly your responsibility? Yeah, look, there was definitely a focus in the last election around climate change, but I do think as people are going to start to experience more cost of living pressures, uh, particularly when you look at what's happening around the energy market, what's happening around the price of petrol, uh, but also including what's happening day to day groceries, uh, that some of those issues are probably going to become less top of mind. Uh, I think when people start to look at their electricity bills, when they start to experience uh, inflationary pressures, when they start to see their mortgage rates increase, uh, that some of those issues like climate change might no longer be as determinant in, uh, in where they place their mm. vote. I suppose we'll see, mm. and that's to play out over the next three years, but right now we've mm. just had that election. Again, mm. is, it, is, it care, is it important the Coalition doesn't ignore it? That the, not just the teal seats, you've even lost to, to the Greens as well. Yeah. So is that something you need to, to factor in as well? Look, I don't think anyone's ignoring it. So that's sort of a, a, the wrong take on my, the way we're looking at this issue. But we have always been focused when we were in government and now that it's about technology. It's about ensuring that the technology catches up because renewables aren't ready yet to take over the baseload affordable power that not only do household needs, but also a lot of small businesses. And then if you look at the big smelters, etc., they're unable to be just offline and put back online. Uh, so there does need to be that reliable, affordable baseload power. But it's how we get there and how we ensure that that energy is you know, is able to be supplied, but also supplied in a way that people can afford to keep running their businesses. Mm. So it is important. Um, it's a very important matter, but it's how we deal with it. Um, we're much more right. interested and always have been in seeing technological advances, whether they be lithium-ion batteries, whether there is a conversation that needs to be held around small mod modular nuclear uh, and the advances that are occurring there, as opposed to looking okay. at carbon taxes. So... You can argue about the how, but what about the what? Labor's 43% emissions mm. reduction plan by 2030. Do they have a clear mandate to do that? Well, 32% of Australians voted for the Labor Party. I don't think that's a clear mandate anywhere. Uh, it's a two-seat majority that they've got. Uh, so it is still... The Coalition uh, has never said that, though, when, it, when it's been getting, what, 40 41% mm. even in good election results. I mean, mm. you've previously said you've had mandates and things for that. The, the primary well, vote's a bit misleading, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's 32% of Australians that supported a Labor Party, uh, not, not, well, not uh, you know, 68. 68% well? 68 I mean, of people voted for somebody climate. else. Look, and they are. Uh, but if we went down the Greens path, we'd see our economy tanking uh, as soon as they took their seat up on the Treasury benches. And, I mean, this is what we need to be very, very mindful of, particularly when we get to the Senate. We don't have a proper make-up yet. We don't know exactly what it's going to look like uh, the Senate just yet, uh, but the Greens' influence is obviously going to be very concerning to those people who do need reliable, but, but affordable, on the mandate question, power. 